Hey guys, and I gotta really work. What is wrong with this lighting? Anyway, maybe this will work. Man, I really gotta work on that lighting. But anyway, welcome to Jurassic Chad 49. Uh, basically, in this video, I'm gonna be covering more of just the regular news, and in tomorrow's video, I'm gonna be doing a special Jurassic Chad number 50, basically explaining everything we know about the Indoraptor. But anyway, this will be kind of a short video because there's not really much to talk about in terms of news. Instead of, you know, a ton of TV spots and featurettes that have been released, which I have not watched. I've been trying to steer away from all that, man. Except for two TV spots in particular that Jurassic Outpost released, along with a bunch of toy commercials, which I'll release down in the uh, comments section. Which I didn't watch the toy commercials, so maybe we'll, we'll watch them. Actually, I can't watch them here because my charge has been down, so... Can't do reactions to them. But anyway, one's for the blue raptor mask, one's for the gyrosphere set along with the other regular uh, little smaller action figures and the Roravores, and then one for the thrash and throw T-Rex. As well as this really cool, I got a snapshot here, of the, uh, I th believe it's called, uh, it's not Run... I forget what it's called though, but basically it's a TV spot. I call it the Allosaurus TV spot because we get a really cool, good look at the Allosaurus in this little thumbnail, as y'all can see. Uh, and it really puts at ease us a lot of these skeptics. Like, um, I had someone say to me, Is Neil Venator? And I said, No. From a lot of the information we got, from the toy we got, we were, from how Mattel has handled it, we're, it's basically confirmed to be Allosaurus. And uh, he commented, I forget what it was, it was something along the lines of, uh, your opinion or something like that. It's only along those lines. I'm like, uh, okay, but that's where all the information leads. And if you look at the Owl Source right here, and you look at the toy, which I'll probably post a little picture right there, they look almost identical. It has the red crest, has a little bit of light of white outlining over the dark grayish blue. It looks just like the toy. So this is confirmed, really from now on for forevermore, to be Allosaurus. And Allosaurus actually is going to get its own Jurassic Chat in future videos. Uh, but other than that, there's also another TV spot featuring the Baryonyx. Uh, and basically, from now on, the Baryonyx, the Baryonyx scene is basically spoiled uh, thanks to this TV spot, which I didn't really, couldn't really avoid, but uh, it was still interesting. And from other TV spots, you know, and other you know, featurettes and all that, the whole scene is basically spoiled, really. I still think it's going to have weight in the theater, but really, I think Universal has kind of dropped the ball on all of this, all of this marketing. I I have no problem with a few TV spots that didn't release so much information, uh, even though a lot of it is reused uh, information. They they're still slipping snippets of stuff. I really wish they wouldn't. Like in this thing, it's really a whole clip. If you take the the weight of it. But anyway, other than all that, let's get into some Mattel toy news. Now, uh, thanks to Jurassic underscore World 2018, I really need y'all to go on Instagram and start hitting up Mattel. Tell them, please do not uh, ditch these toys. We were going to get a there is a there is an Asaurus and a Plesiosaurus toy from Mattel. And frankly, I think they were going to pull it back or something like that, but we really need to hit a Mattel because they're apparently going to be pulled in uh, thanks to Jurassic underscore world 2018. Uh, we kind of got the information out from them. So we need to hit Mattel up. We need to say, please, give us these toys. I don't, I'm not, I'm not so sure because you know, here's a picture right here of a couple of different toys, but it does show off that the, the, there is an Asaurus. There is an Asaurus is a little, you know, off to me, a little, a little skinny. Because if I think it was There is an Asaurus and a toy that I'd like to buy from, I'd rather buy the Papo There is an Asaurus that just came out. But still, that'd be really cool that Jurassic World would have its own There is an Asaurus toy. And Plesiosaurus, I mean, we don't have any other aquatic creature toys other than the Mosasaur. So I would really love to have, like, a bendy neck Plesiosaur or something like that. Or real field plesiosaur. I think it'd be a really cool toy. So I really hope that we can uh, tell Mattel to not scrap this. Along with some other revamped and repainted toys we're getting out, like another blue and Stygimolic and uh, Monolophosaurus. Uh, <coughs> there are some newer figures. There's also a repaint of the Dimetrodon. We are getting some really uh, technically new toys. We're getting a Topaguara toy. If you don't know what a Topaguara is, it's basically a pterosaur with crests on its beak and its head. We actually got a Topaguara toy before. I believe it was it was either in the Lost World 
or the Jurassic Park toy line. I think it was in the Jurassic Park toy line, though, that we got Tapaguara. But, yeah, Tapaguara will actually be pricing, uh, or basically coming back to the Toyscape, and we're getting another Tapaguara toy in the Jurassic World, uh, uh, Jurassic World toy line. And then another toy, that, which I'm actually pretty excited for, is uh, Stracosaurus. And I don't think we've gotten a Stracosaurus toy for Jurassic World. We've got Chasmosaurus, uh, you know, and among a few others. But I don't think we've ever gotten a Stracosaurus. I may be wrong, but the Stracosaurus, it looks really cool. And I really cannot wait to see how it looks uh, in stores. As well as uh, another few figures that will be hitting in June. I believe Top of War and Stracosaurus are going to be hitting in June. But another figure we're going to get is a new set, which is actually called the Lava Flow set. I think it's a Lava Flow, but anyway, Lava Set. And it basically shows off the scene in which the Baryonyx is in that underground area with the lava flowing down. And we actually get a new, uh, I believe it is a Roar of War Baryonyx, because it looks just the same. It could be just a regular Baryonyx with no special feature. But I think it is a repaint of the Roar of War Baryonyx. It doesn't have the blue and goldish color on it. It has more of a muddled gray. Uh, the toe claws aren't painted. And it has more of the, actually a red or brownish red color on its head. So it's more of a repaint. Uh, so it's still pretty interesting. Uh, we got some new posters. We got this one here of Rexy in the rain. This is the IMAX poster uh, called The Park is Gone. And it shows Rexy snapping at uh, the ladder in which has a guy still climbing it connected to a helicopter. It looks so awesome. Uh, we also have a new one that I believe was released today of Blue and Owen. And it looks really, really nice. Uh, and there was another clip that I actually saw. It was a sh very, very short clip. And it shows the guy uh, screaming at Rex to come out of the jungle. Uh, but that's the opening sequence, and I don't want to spoil that. Because uh, thanks, Universal, for spoiling so, so much. Uh, I get annoyed if these people are like, Well, don't watch this stuff, man. Some stuff is unavoidable, okay? So I can't help it. So it does, uh, it does lie on Universal to end up putting all this stuff out. And you would think they would have a better, you know, hold on their marketing campaign. Uh, <coughs> I have not reacted, I have not reacted, uh, I have not reacted, yeah, to the uh, Baby Trike clip yet. There was a clip that was recently released of the Baby Trike and the Mama Trike, and I have not seen it yet. Uh, so I'll have to try and do that in a future Jurassic Chat or something, but I have not seen it yet. Uh... There's also this stuff here, uh, if you've seen this around Instagram and around everywhere, um, basically this T-Rex skeleton has been going around London, I believe, or what was it, Singapore, I can't remember, because they've been doing some marketing in Singapore. Hold on. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm trying to remember. Uh, also another thing for Amazon, speaking of that T-Rex, I believe it's the same T-Rex that was put in an Amazon crate, apparently, and in recent marketing. <laughs> they showed off that Amazon was going to ship this thing, and it has been shipped. I cannot remember where, though. Uh, I think it was the theater, a theater in Los Angeles or something like that. But anyway, you can you can find it anywhere. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have my second phone to find it. But uh, anyway, yeah, that's where it was shipped to, and now it's there for people to take pictures of. Uh, also, the first reactions coming in from Jurassic World. Uh, wanted to put that out real quick. Let's see. Well, they're generally positive, uh, really positive. Most people really taking liking to Jana Biona's tone. One person said that was not enough of Jana Biona's tone, uh, and that was the big problem that he they apparently have with the film. Which I would have to say this. I agree that, but when you're dealing with a franchise that is not inherently your own, but you're adding your own personal take, it's not going to feel entirely like your your movie. If you get what I mean. Especially you have other people that have already built a story before you. So you can come in with your own take on the story, but it's not going to be inherently your own. The people have already, like Colin Trevorrow and Derek Connolly, have already been working on this script years before J.F. Biono is even part of the equation. So that's what I have to say to that real quick. 
Not that it's a problem. And then the one, uh, and then one generally positive review saying it's effing amazing. So yeah, first reactions are generally positive, and that was where I'm from the uh, uh, world premiere in Spain. Uh, then uh, that's really all, guys. It's a really short Jurassic chat, and I say, well, cut down to the chase. Uh, other than then, some mixed media stuff, you know, general uh, marketing, uh, which I cannot cover, you know, all of that. I mean, geez. But uh, anyway, we do have the final stuff, and you know, I gotta cover this Jurassic World Evolution. And we have two new Ankylosaurids to show off one, Notosaurus. Really cool. Uh, I mean, it's a cute little dinosaur. I didn't really expect... I, I kind of expected something like Notosaurus to come in. Because Notosaurus is a really... Uh, not necessarily old, but you know... Uh, it's... Uh, um, it's popular among dinosaur enthusiasts. You you know what a Notosaurus is. Uh, a Notosaurids. Uh, and especially with the with the game only coming out in 10 days, which frankly I just don't have the funds to buy it yet. Ugh, I really gotta get a job. Which luckily I've graduated, so now I can get a job. Ugh. But anyway, uh, the second dinosaur, Sauropelta. Didn't I? I kind of expected it to be Sauropelta, thanks to Gaming Beaver. You know, or actually not uh, Gaming Beaver, but Best in Slots video. Uh, looking at it, and we of course we know that next week will probably. Be Draco Rex, I would imagine would be Draco Rex, considering that's really the last dinosaur I can think of that we've seen, but haven't gotten a well. Technically, we haven't gotten one for uh, Camarasaurus. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think. I think there are a few others we haven't gotten them for, but yeah. Uh, and giving one week before that, we should be getting a lot more uh, species profiles to fill it out. You know. But uh, Sauropelta was a really nice little dinosaur. It was really cool seeing them fight each other in the in the in the in the uh, species profile. That was really interesting. And then, of course, before these two, we had Corythosaurus in the previous Jurassic chat. So, what do you guys think of all this information? Hope y'all enjoyed the video, and uh, stay tuned for the rest of Jurassic June. Finally, feeling a lot better. Like two weeks ago, I was sick with the flu. Felt better, then I ended up getting two abscesses, one that went away in a day, that was really painful, that was really painful, and then another one that just stuck around for nearly a half a week, that was extremely painful, as you see my Lake Placid Legacy reactions, my mouth was literally numb, and I could barely talk like this, it, it was horrible, so uh, I was really slow on videos and stuff. And man, didn't did Lake Placid Legacy make it so much worse? That was such a bad movie. Oh man, it was so bad. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Let's hit the 1,800 subscriber mark because we've hit the 1,700 subscriber mark, guys. And stay tuned for the rest of Jurassic June. And remember, on June 11th, you know, as long as the weather holds out, because that for some reason messes up my signal so bad down here. Anyway. I'll be doing a live reaction to Jurassic Park for the 25th anniversary. And earlier in the day, I'll probably release another video entitled My Review of Jurassic Park After 25 Years. As well, uh, on the 23rd, uh, you know, hopefully, as long as our plans abide by each other, uh, me, Jurassic underscore world 2018 from Instagram, and Clayton Fioriti are all going to come together and do a live stream Q&A uh, real review of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and talks about the whole Jurassic Park 25th anniversary. So thanks guys and stay tuned for those videos and for future videos. <laughs>